Shalom, love. My name is Amber Nicole. I have a quick message that I want to share with all of my silly, goofy, quirky girls that don't fit in the box. She is me. Anyway, so I want to talk to us really, really quick. So for us quirky girls, who silly girls, for those of you who struggle, I want to talk to you as well because this used to be me and sometimes it is me. So my message today is, are you living in your full authenticity of who you are? Are you showing up as the full, silly, quirky, don't fit in the box, got a bunch of different nationality friends, whatever the case may be, who cares what your friends look like? I don't care about that. But I really want to talk to you about you just living in your full authenticity. Let me give you a quick, quick story. All right. So I remember um, being in my 20s and just struggling with confidence, struggling with really believing in myself. I was in an abusive relationship with a man who had some narcissistic tendencies. I'm not going to call him a narcissist because that is something he had to be diagnosed with. He was not diagnosed with that, nor did he go to the doctor to see if he was. However, he had narcissistic tendencies. And because of his tendencies and because I was normally naturally so super silly, super goofy, although I can be very serious and responsible, I still have this goofy, quirky side. I like singing, even though I cannot sing. I love dancing. I can keep a beat, but you can't be no, I can't be nobody's choreographer and I'm not even going to pretend to be. All right. But I love dancing. I love singing. I have this silly, goofy side about me. I might say something silly and stupid that may not make sense to certain people, but it was fun to me right and so this was my natural core personality who I was well when I got with him he would make me feel like I was stupid for being that way he would make me feel like why why are you like this like you're weird you know what I'm saying and he would I would stifle myself a little bit more over the 10 years I was with him so I got to the point where I wasn't even me no more I was really trying to figure out who he wanted me to be so that we could stop arguing and he can stop calling me stupid stop saying I don't have common sense stop saying I'm not smart simply because I just had this really goofy silly side to me you know I also was um sometimes very aloof I guess I would say in how I show up I'm not always very bubbly all the time like that's not my natural personality now can I be that way of course I'm that way right now but I'm not that way all of the time you know I'm some sometimes I'm super goofy and silly sometimes I'm very serious sometimes when someone tells me they love me I can be very endearing if I'm excited about something I don't always show my excitement in this overjoy you know and so he would feel like I just wasn't happy so I was Anyways, I don't want to get too much into that story. I just really want to talk about how I really was trying to pretend to be somebody I was not just to stay in that relationship. So my message for you today, for all of you who are don't fit in a box, I say that that's like one of my favorite lines. They'll ask me like, what type of personality you have? Who are you? I don't know. I don't fit in a box. I don't fit with no one culture. I grew up in the hood. I have a lot of hood ratchet friends, you know, um, I got a lot of friends who are very professional, who are millionaires. I got a, I got friends who are super spiritual and in the church. You know, I have different friends, you know, because they're a part of my personality. It's a lot of my friends are like me, you know, so kind of silly, kind of goofy, kind of um, for lack of better words. A lot of people say this, but this is not the right term, but I'm just going to say it, it white. Um, I was the white girl, even though that's not my personality and white is not a personality, but whatever. Anyway, so I was just that super goofy, silly girl who also could be responsible, whatever the case may be. So just not to keep on this message going too much longer, I just want you to know that you being goofy, you being quirky, all your silly ways, everything that God formed you and made you who you are is who you are. And do not stifle who you are because the people in your in your circle or the relationships that you are in or whoever is around you, teachers sometimes can't handle your sunshine because that is a sunshine. That is who God called you to be. And if you are too bright for them, you a number one, tell them to put some glasses on or B don't be around you then because you will not. I declare today that you will not stifle your natural personality, your natural quirkiness, your natural goofiness. And this is for who, whatever nationality you are. I don't care who you are, white, black, Asian, Mexican, Haitian, whoever it is. I don't care. You will not stifle your natural silliness, your natural goofy, quirky, weird ways just because it doesn't fit with what the world thinks it should be. What the hell is normal anyways?
normal is boring if you ask me because when you're looking like everybody you're acting like everybody you're dressing like everybody you don't put put you don't want to put on certain things because you think somebody gonna say certain things to you or you're not gonna look right because it's if it's who you are baby shine if it's who you are show up that way if you want to wear purple and green pants baby wear purple and green pants and wear that shit proudly okay i'm not giving you the idea to wear purple and green pants i'm simply just saying show up in your full authenticity because everybody in this world world is struggling with trying to be themselves everybody in this world has certain things that they wish they can show but they don't want to because they're too scared of people people stop being so scared of what somebody is going to say about you when they're struggling in their own damn selves listen i refuse to be or show up and continue to conform to stifle to settle to limit to diminish who i am because the world can't handle my sunshine and i declare that you say those things over your life shine baby declare and decree that you show up in your full authenticity some of you may even forgot who that person is because you haven't been her for so long ask god can you can you restore my joy again can you restore that silly goofy young childlike that i had and within me who cares that you're an adult Come on, God called us to, told us to have childlike faith to even believe what he has for us. So how can you have childlike faith, but you want to be so grown and serious all the time? No, learn how to be a child again. Learn how to be jokey. Learn how to have fun. Play with your kids. Do silly stuff. Stop getting mad because they doing stuff that annoys you, spraying water in your face or whatever the case may be. Have fun. Stop being serious all the time. Life is always going to be difficult. There's going to be areas in your life that you're always struggling with and trying to figure out. God gave you that personality so you can manage and get through life in a joyful way. I don't mean always you're going to feel so good and great and all that, but I'm just saying for the most part, learn to have joy learn to be free learn to be liberated learn to get back to who god called you to be and enjoy that woman that man i don't care who he or she looks like i don't care what the world says whether they decide that they want to agree with who you are or not if god called you to be that way he called you to be that way for a reason so this is my message to you if you read if you listen to this then you needed to hear this this is my message to you to show up in the fullness and the authentic person that god called you to be and never again let no one dig them your light because they can't handle how bright you shine you got me you got me all right enjoy the you and you enjoy i love you peace and prosperity i'm not sure if you've seen that it said that i was reconnecting but i love you peace and prosperity to you go ahead and join my youtube channel if you have not youtube hello amber nicole like and subscribe that um, join it right now there's so many videos on there if you're struggling with this i love you goodbye